Welcome to Straight Out of Savannah, Talking with Tammy, a podcast that showcases people you may not know who are choosing to use their gifts to inspire and move the planet. much for joining me. This is Tammy Morrison with Unleashing Your True Self with Straight Out of Savannah talking with Tammy. I am so grateful that you are joining us today with my guest, Debbie McAllister. Um, I just want you just to hear it from her, who she is and what she's all about. Debbie, take it away. Oh, Tammy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I am Debbie McAllister, like Tammy introduced me. So I'm an intuitive business coach. So I do that. I'm also a healer. That's why I use my clicky little word of intuitive business coach. But I work with women primarily have been um, who resonates with my my message. Um, so right now I am a uh, I work with women to help them connect with uh, connecting with their money so that they can manifest the life that they want and get rid of the shame and the guilt of wanting more things to be able to make their dream comes true. So, you know, if you have more, then you can give more. Um, so I also have uh, a membership and my own podcast and called Light Up Your Birth. And the membership is really like a safe haven for people to go and explore spirituality. So I bring together different types of modalities, and so that's me. So I'm so excited to be here, Tammy. I'm excited to have you. I really (laughs) am. We've been talking about this thing for a minute, and we finally made time to be able to come on together, and I am so appreciative. So when you look at the type of woman that you want to work with, what does she look like? Oh... Well, this woman is somebody who is coming from the the heart-centered intention of wanting to really make an impact and uplift people. So I primarily work with women who have overcome some of that stuff, right? Like some hard shit. And they've come through it. As they've come through it, they have found some type of healing modality, spirituality that comes through them. And that is part of their journey. And once they're on the other side of it, then they reach into themselves and they are now uplifting others. And that is who uh, finds their way to me. And then we work together and they're off and they just step even further into their own, you know, their own goddess, their own empowered woman. And so, um, yeah, all types and sizes and shapes and colors and yeah. I got a rainbow crew. That so, is, I is love it. Always, that right? is always powerful. The thing yes. is, is um, when you were considering and you were thinking about this type of business, what made you just really say, okay, this is what I'm going to do? Was there a, a catalyst for you that helped you to move into this particular arena or what happened? So I started my spiritual journey, you know, on, um, after 9-11, I was, I, I had a, been in the corporate world, right. And doing corporate travel and all over in high tech. And then I was in healthcare and uh, coaching execs. And during this whole path, I felt like I was living like these two parallel lives, right? Like, here's my corporate person. Here's my persona. Everybody knows I'm sensitive and everybody wants to talk. And share and bounce things off and I was a coach a leadership coach out there right so the last 20 years I've been a coach and but in the corporate world and what would happen is that as time was going by they started to intersect right the two parts of myself and so I I just was feeling called or really that's who just kept showing up was these women and because I've gone through my own stories and have worked through my own stories and continually, right? I think it's, we're always, 
working through something and <laughs> and yeah. whenever you get on the other side of something you're like oh that's why i had that echo that's yeah. why that happened right like yes steve Jobs says you start connecting the dots backwards right and then yeah so i think it picked me they picked me and now with all of my spiritual friends you know like every time you do something they're like it's time it's time right like got the message like are you done are you gonna step on out <laughs> step out girl like it's time like you need to do this right mm -hmm. like the world needs you and i think in my world 9 11 as hard as that was for everybody it was my own spiritual awakening and then i think last year was it just upped the ante and so this area is like, you know, I know so many people have been awakened and I thought, you know, when you don't have anybody to talk to about what you're experiencing. I mean, where were you 20 years ago, Tammy, when I needed somebody to talk about something that was happening, right? Like you feel different, you know, you're different yes. and you're, you're doing everything you can to try to blend in. And I did a pretty good job of it. You know, yeah. like I was different, but you know, not too different. Right. And so. Yeah, so I think I really feel called to help. I want people to step out. I want them to be brave. And I don't want them to feel like they're alone because they're not. We're everywhere. We I are say, so similar in that. <laughs> like, we are so similar in that because that is exactly one of the things that I put into my mission was that, you know, I want people not to feel alone. And I think it, when I think about it in my case, it was based on the fact that I have felt alone for so long. You know, there were so many times when even in a room full of people, I felt like I was by myself. You know, nobody really understood me on that deeper level. You know, there was always the surface people on the surface, you know, and I, I can give a good surface talk you know we can talk on the surface about nothing <laughs> that's right right it's all around us it's all around us you know how's the weather oh the weather's great you know i have snow what do you have you know <laughs> uh -huh. but then you know but then when you want to go deeper you know there's nobody a lot of times that's right i had um i was dating this guy um i don't know 2000 Six, two 2007 and he told me he goes you know what's so interesting about you is you just go to the deep end of the pool like <laughs> like you just like you'd like live there and I'm like really like it was when I started to realize like truly start to realize like how different and the same I was with people right like what do you mean don't you want to have that conversation don't you want to like doesn't everybody tell you their life story in the grocery store? Yes. <laughs> right? Like, and then you're Talk hugging them. Across and, your forehead? Right? Like, Talk to yeah, me. Right? Right? Like, I had this this thing, uh, just a couple of years ago, you know, when we could travel, right? Like, I was coming back from, I don't know, I was on some type of trip. And I was sitting in um, a restaurant, having a drink, eating some food in between a layover and this girl come over and she's like can I sit next to you you just have this vibe and I'm like sit on down and so we sat there and had a drink and she was uh she was she worked on the cruise ships like she had left someplace like Wisconsin and she was now living on cru these cruise ships in like Hawaii area right mm -hmm. and like doing I don't even know what she did there but she was she says you know I've raised my family I'm out there I'm doing what I want to do and we started talking and she gave me her earrings these like there were some kind of crystal stones this purple and she goes these will go really good with what you're wearing and I don't even remember where we were going but Dawn is her name and man we had that connection and i'm like you know i want more dawns in my life I, I can remember her name i have these beautiful earrings and you know they you just touch each other at that time you know i had gone up to salem oregon and i was because i 
in healthcare went and did uh, checking out the work that they did with performance improvement. And I'm on this trip, and it's all about all these lean geeks like me doing process improvement work. And I meet this guy named Edward, and he says, you know, there's some reason I need to show you. And he puts in his hands in his pocket, and he brings out all these crystals. And I'm like... <laughs> And let me tell you, I've been all over the U.S. looking at other hospitals and how they do these processes. And I was like, what? What are you doing here, my peep? Right. So we end up talking. Right. Like the whole time we were like inseparable. And and then I get on the plane to fly home and I meet this uh, my other friend, Krista. Right? Never knew her. We start talking and she's like, I don't know. And I knew everything about her. She knows everything about me and this guy that I just met. Right? Like, it was like, I, though, those are my peeps, right? Like, how do we find each other? You know, Tammy, like we found each other, right? Like, you're just like, you feel at home with these people and yes. you want, you want, what about that person? You know, I've lived out in rural areas lived out in Wyoming, I've lived out in Idaho, and where you're like, okay, I know I'm different, but I'm really different here. <laughs> and and if I say saying anything spiritual, like is somebody gonna get a shotgun and, you know, go tie me up someplace, right? Like it is and you just felt so isolated. Mm -hmm. So, so isolated. And yep. I I don't you know, we are not meant to be isolated. We are we are meant to have our hearts connected with people or, you know, the people you go to give a hug and they, they barely touch you. You're like, I'm like a bear hugger. Like, I want my heart to touch your heart. Give I me that hug. I'm a lover. Right? I'm oh, a lover. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm a lover. I'm like, right? I'm not, I try not to be a fighter, but I can be. But I'm more, you know, I rather love, you know, and that's what I tell people. I'm like, I rather love, you know, and. And I feel like this, if I can't help you, I'm not going to hurt you. It's just not in my nature, you know, and, you know, but do you encounter people that, um, cause I think we talked about, or maybe we didn't, um, about jealousy in this arena. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. So have you encountered yeah. people that, you know, because you know who you are mm -hmm. and you know what you want. Have you encountered people that um, had this jealousy towards you because of that? And how did you deal with it? So I had it kind of just actually pretty recently, you know, and it was in the social media realm. And yeah. I could like feel, I could feel it, right? Like mm -hmm. I could feel it in a, in a post because yeah. like any empaths or healers, yeah. you feel this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, you know, she's younger. She probably doesn't know. She doesn't know me. So I reached out. We talked, you know, and now she's just adorable, right? Like, we're not in competition. There's plenty for all of us. How many millions? There's trillions of people on this earth. And how many of them need help? There's plenty for all of us, you know, like I yes. want, if I'm not your person, if I'm not your person, I want you to find your person and I'll I'm going to help, help I'll help you connect yes. with your person. I'm not yes. going to go work with you too. If I think, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can help them. Right. Like, and you might, you, you want them to find what they are. And I think that's why I, created my podcast too right just like you tammy because we need people to know that they're not alone yes yes we're not alone and especially after last year how many people feel alone and they don't need to right there are there are communities and there's people and we can help them deal with their stuff you know like my healing is dealing with some of the subconscious beliefs because you know, if we have 70,000 thoughts in a day and 80 to 90, you know, depending on whose data you read, right? Somewhere between 70, 80 to 90% of them, I don't know what the real number is, right? But is subconscious beliefs. Yes. And so I want to help people also, you know, figure that out, right? right? Like figure that out. So I, I had this really strange conversation with my mom right? Like many, many years ago. And tonight, actually, when I was driving home, I was calling her because we, we have this little joke, you know, 
it's the nanny call, you know, like if you got 10 minutes call, right? Because, <laughs> Cause I'm so busy, but so I call her and I, I said, you know, I was trying to explain to her about the DNA generational work. Like, what is that? Like in a really practical way. And I said, you know, mom, remember, I finally had told her, maybe it was 10 years ago or something. Like I had been having this reoccurring dream my whole life about being young and watching a bridge over a gorge fall and people plummeted it down and did not make it right so I have been terrified of heights my whole life and I don't even know where this came from right that I that didn't happen to me and I I for some reason I was telling my mom this and she's like I never told you about that I've never told anybody about that and I was like what and she's like I saw that as a small child wow and I was like, Mom, that's what generational DNA work will help you. Because me working on me is going to help you, help you heal, right? And we got into this conversation about, you know, I actually want to know the names of the seven generational back of people in my, in my female line. And so I only know four. So now I'm going to go start looking this up because... The fourth one back was born in 1896. So we were having this talk about 1896. Like she was alive when like, we got to vote. Like how much trauma has she, ex did they experience, right? Like, and I, we get to help, I get to help, do, help people remove that. And I want to bring people, you know, together. So my own healing, my own private clients, right, with coaching, the, the traditional coaching, because I do that, and the healing together. And, you know, so it's oh, never any competition, right? Because we're all so different. You, you and I could do the same thing, be sitting next to each other, and somebody's going to walk right by me and go, oh, I want her. Right? You, <laughs> you know what's funny? That's exactly what Dr. Wright just said to me. He said, you know, he said, there are many healers and there are many people that do what you do. He said, but none of them do them like you do it. He said, and the people that are attracted to you are attracted to you. You don't have to worry about, you know, which I don't, not that type of person. I don't worry about that anyway. I'm like you. There's trillions of people out here. Trillions of people are hurting, you know, have trauma, you know, need help need their chakras balanced or whatever, you know, type of services that you do. Um, but we all do them in a different way. And this is the thing. It's like, when you look at it like that, there's no competition. There's no competition. You know, because I hear people say, well, don't look at the competition. And my thing is, what I do and when I look at other people, I don't even look at them as competition. I look at them as case studies. And I look at them as, you know, possibly it might be something that they do that I want to, you know, put into my processes, you know, or yeah. maybe, you know, see how they do it and, you know, how it works, you know, because just like you're a sacred soul alignment practitioner, I'm a sacred soul alignment practitioner, Alicia's a sacred soul alignment practitioner, but we practice it differently. You know, I am, I am able to channel with the tongues. I have since I was probably, I don't know, three or four years old, <laughs> five maybe, you know, but I've always been able to do it, but I did not know that's what I was doing. I had no idea. And so I do that, you know, because I've done it and I've, I've learned a lot now in, you know, this period of time when, you know, we had that we awakened and all that stuff, but, you know, but I do it like that. And then somebody else does it in a different way, you know, but we can all appreciate that we're all healers and that we're all helping to raise the vibrations in this world because damn sure they need raising. <laughs> right, right. Like I was listening to something uh, this morning. I was listening to something about, you know, the vibration of all of the emotions yes. and how low, right? Like the vibration of love, the highest vibration and for one person constantly being able to radiate 
love can heal like it was millions of people I can't remember the exact statistic but then the lowest vibration shame and guilt mm -hmm. right and I love Renee's Brown's explanation of shame right it's like feeling like we've done something wrong yeah and sometimes we are made to feel like we've done something wrong and maybe something was done wrong to us yeah and and we need to get rid of that we need yeah. to we need to help raise the consciousness of our planet and take away this whatever it is that is holding people back right these old fears of you know that we can be spiritual and we can try like i've been i've been in the spiritual world for 20 years and i'm like what's that what's that i i want to go figure that out and oh i need to have that person come in into my membership and and i want to learn something about that right like and if you're new right maybe you've dabbled I mean, you know, we were talking about Reiki, you know, I love Reiki, I'm a Reiki master. And, but it was really that first modality. And I think it's the most common modality because yeah. it's in hospitals now and it's, yeah, been, you know, with after know. surgeries and yeah. people know it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, okay, well, there's so much more, but we, we could also, I've studied all the same stuff, but I, I like to think about it as like, we're like crock pots. Yeah. Right. Like you're throwing in your carrots and your potatoes and your onions and your cilantro. And, you know, I, I eat meat, so I'm throwing in some meat Me and, you know, your garlic. And and those are all these things and experiences. And you don't even know what the recipe is. But, man, it tastes good. Right. Exactly. It, it, it's almost like like I'm going to bake a cake later. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I like to bake. You know, it's a part of my creative thing, you know, <laughs> and I like cake, you know, and they're hard to find when they're good. And I know that I bake a damn mean pound cake. Oh. So I'm going to bake and I have all these different ingredients to put in. You know, I've got the butter already sitting out. So it's room temperature. I got the eggs sitting out. I got the cream cheese and the sour cream, all of these things ready to put into this cake. But when you eat the cake, you're not going to taste the sour cream and the eggs and all that shit, right? Yeah. What you're going to taste taste is the cake, the finished product. What time is dessert? I'll be right, I'll be right over, right? <laughs> Come on, girl. I'll okay. <laughs> put you some in the freezer. <laughs> but yeah, so so but but yeah, so that that's one of the things I do. You know, I bake because I like good food. And same thing, you know. My husband was a chef, so we cook and I'm from the South. So people always think I can cook and I can, but so we cook a lot because a lot of times we want good food and we know that we can make good food. Can't always buy it. Right. And I think it's the same thing in this arena. You know, it's the same thing. It's like you can go over here and you can get a Reiki treatment. Right. And that helps and it works. Um, but I've had a prana treatment that was fucking amazing. I mean, the girl was in, in California and I was in Arizona and she did the treatment on me. And I promise you, I felt that girl's hands in my body. And that was the first time I had ever felt anything like that, you know? And so that was a different thing, right? And then I had a theta treatment because I was doing I did that course as well and I think I even had sacred soul alignment treatments you know with Alicia when she's done her things and then I think um I did a trade with somebody I can't even remember who it was but yeah so you know we we've all had these things they're all doing the same thing but in different ways right they're all working with energy so I'm, I'm super excited oh. about that. And, and look you know like I just it looked like I was yawning, right? You know, I'm not yawning. You're processing like, the energy. Like there was just a lot of energy that just came up and through, right? Healing breath, yes. modality, right? Yes. Like, and people, you know, people just have to to do they like if they. It's like when you're looking at the corner of your eye and it's a little blurry, and then you just know, right? Like this intuition is it's real. It's just that we've gone and studied it and tried different ways of how it has been brought into the world yes. through through different people, different mm -hmm. vehicles of the people and different healing modalities. And they're all so powerful and they all work 
together and I'm telling you, there's just so much goodness and it's all from this beautiful, beautiful energy. Yes. Of the divine, I believe, you know, and, yes. and I was raised in the church and so so coming out not only have I come out, I am way out now, right? <laughs> and and I was telling some people, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're supportive. And I thought, okay, just wait till you start talking, when you start listening to my, you know, like I just had a womb healer on my, uh, you know, on my podcast. I've had a channel or two, you know, and she doesn't do tongues. But, man, when they, when they dropped in, oh, man, like, it was just amazing. And yeah. then I had somebody who was talking to me, and when I've learned more about my my do doshas, you know, from our Irana medicine. I always struggle with that word. And it's just beautiful, right? Like, we're all so different, and yet there's no need to compete, right? Like, yeah. like our, our, I, I believe, I had a reading with this gal who I love for um, my um, artistic, ar wait, I'm pronouncing it wrong, the records. And oh, yeah, 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 Akashic. Akashic, sorry. Yeah. So, pronunciation is my weak point. So, can you tell I used to get teased <laughs> growing up? It's right? okay. <laughs> Even adults, right, they feel the need to, and it's like, I didn't give you permission to correct me. Now, if I, if I give you permission, you can't. Like, I gave you permission. Like, like hi, help me here. Help me, friend. Like, and so, I, I had this reading, right, when I was launching, and I wanted to connect with, like, what do I need to do? for my so my soulmate clients to find me and she tells me she goes oh they're they're just waiting for you to step out i was gonna say you just need to be visible they just need to see you yeah. and see right like oh yeah like i oh and you, you, you know what else to bring your stories forth that's what i'm feeling for you bring your stories because you know what I'm learning? People connect with the stories. And you're like me. You're a storyteller. You can tell the stories. Oh, girl, I can talk all day. Exactly. Right? Like, I, I laugh. I said, uh, here we are. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to go. Uh, so what I want you to do is let the people know where to find you, you know, where they can find you on line social media you know your website whatever you want to share um that will also be in the description of the video and the audio so she's gonna um, debbie's gonna share where you can find her if you are ready to connect with her because i'm sure that you are so she's gonna let you know give give her details and then yep. we're gonna pop on out there all right. Well, thanks, Tammy. So you can find me on IG is where I'm really visible on Light Up Your Worth. And then I'm on Facebook. Um, I have a group that's for women only, and that is the Intuitive Diva Society. Did it used to be another name? It did. Okay. It did, and I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> that's because, all you know, I knew because well, I think I remember getting the notification that the name was changed. I did. I did. I had another thing because I kept getting the same people. And I'm like, I think this is like, that was that nudge, right? Like that God nudge of girl, when are you going to step out? Come on, let's step, get going. And then, you know, you have to pivot, right? The, the word of Absolutely. 2020 was pivot, right? Yes. Yes. Sometimes you're like, please don't say that word again, yes. but here I'm saying it, right? I had to pivot. <laughs> And here we are. <laughs> That's right, right? Pivoting. So, but thank you so much, Tammy. This is I'm, just so sweet. I was going to say, this has been amazing. I wish we didn't have to cut it off, but we're going to cut it off today. And I'm so appreciative that you have decided to listen and join us here. Um, this has been so much fun. And as if you watch me at any time, you know that fun is, you know, the top of the game for me because I truly enjoy um, just talking to people and hearing their stories and listening to, you know, how they came about to be who they are. And so this has been another episode that doesn't disappoint. So again, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate you. Um, continue to check us out. Make sure that you reach out and connect with Debbie because she has some amazing things that she is doing coming up in 2021. So connect with her. And um, I will talk with you later and I'll see you another time. Bye. Oh, <laughs> she's got her baby.
I know you've been blown away with the amazing valley here today. Now go out and inspire the planet. And be sure to send us a message when you're ready to come talk about it. I'm straight out of Savannah. Talking with Tammy.